Hi, it's Jessie from Peach Manifesto, and welcome to another Madam Glam video. So Madam Glam very kindly sent me um, part of their School of Glam uh, collection. I picked out all the glitters. Now, this collection is based on the School of Rock, so you might recognize some of these, like, kind of words. So we have Hardcore and Fancy Pants, which these I had to pick all the glitters. Um, Bees Knees which is a stunning gold. And uh, then there is also rock and blue. So I haven't tried any of the glitters from Madame Glam before. So I was really, really excited to get into this collection. Um, these are super sparkly, like highly reflective. Um, I just like can't say enough about them. I definitely have a few clients in mind that I know would really love these. So because I hadn't tried any of the Madame Glam glitters before, I was kind of just trying out different methods of how to apply it because glitter gel polish can be a little bit different to apply than obviously a cream. There is little particles in the gel that you kind of have to make sure are, you're getting full coverage, you're getting some opacity. So I decided to try it with a one coat. Um, obviously, as you can see, I played around with it to get it to that one coat and I decided that was kind of annoying and I wasn't ever really going to do that on a client. So I just decided it would just be easier to do two coats. Um, so I'm just going in with uh, my first coat, which is just regular, like I'd say medium. I, I rarely ever do thin coats. It's just not my style. Um, but I'm just trying to make sure I'm getting it even and getting full coverage. As you can see, it is a little bit transparent, but like not bad for opacity. Once I get in with the second coat, you can see that it really builds up that opacity. And like, I hope that the sparkliness is translating here because these are so, so shiny, so beautiful. I can't wait to show you them top coated at the end. Now, this gold is so stunning. I have a client that loves kind of really sparkly champagne golds. So I know that she is really going to go nuts for this one. Um, I love how this one applied too. It was really, really nice. So as you can tell, again, I'm doing the two coats. I'm kind of going in with a medium coat and this one wasn't too bad. <clears throat> Pardon me. You can see like a little bit around the edge. Um, I really didn't need to do a whole lot to get it to full opacity. Just a quick little brush on as you can see and we have full coverage. So, so shiny. Now this one um, is a little bit different. Um, like the other ones I felt like all the glitters were the same size, same style like holographic where this one, um, I'll show you in the close up too. Um, this one was a little bit harder to make full coverage. Um, I feel like cause there was like these like really super fine glitters and then there was kind of like more of a chunkier blue. So the finer glitters were more of like that kind of silver holographic and then the chunkier blue, I, I believe they're holographic as well, but it did take a little bit more um, finesse, I guess. So I might put a blue under this if I use it, but this would actually be great to do fades and stuff with, but it did build up eventually. It just took a little bit of playing around with, but it is so, so stunning. As you can see, love it. So let's take a look at these all together and top coated. Like you can't really judge a glitter until it's top coated. It's so, so pretty. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will see you all later. Bye-bye.